what is back propagation in neural networks we will train our new, we will train our neural network using a training data set and then we will give a testing data set and expect that the it gives the correct output so this is a uh, this is some sample neural network so we are training this training this neural network using the back propagation i will tell you how back 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 propagation works generally okay this uh, let uh, let us consider this neural network this consists of three layers one is input layer one output layer one hidden layer and one output layer and every layer consists of three neurons okay and this is a bias which we are giving okay hmm. now how the back propagation works is when we give input to the neurons input to the neurons the input uh, travels to the hidden layer when it is traveling the we, uh, when we give input the input is multiplied with the weights these are the weights traveling to the this hidden layer so these weights will be multiplied with uh, input is multiplied with the weights this for, for this neuron the input from these three and the weights from these three network these three links is multiplied and then added with the bias and the output of this hidden neuron this particular single neuron is calculated by by multiplying input and weight and then adding the bias and here we will we will apply the activation function then we will get the output here in the same way we will do for this neuron and this neuron this neuron and we will get the three three inputs by applying the activation function then this becomes the input for the output layer then the input um, the output of this uh, hidden layer is input to the output layer so this travels travels through these links so the uh, the input from this one is multiplied with the weights of this links and then the after multiplying with the weights then we will add the bias then here here this at this neuron we will apply the activation function they will, will we will get the output in the same way we will get the output at these three neurons so we will get the outputs so what we got the outputs uh, outputs here these should be subtract should be um, subtracted from the uh, from the our target which is our um, expected output value so we will get the error so we we will get the error we will get the error so so we need to minimize this error we minimize the error such that it will give the correct output so for minimizing this is error what we will do is back propagate we will calculate the difference between the uh, target uh, expected and the uh, obtained obtained output so we will get the error we will this error we will propagate it to the uh, hidden layer and we will change the weights of this weights weights over these links and then from this this from from the hidden layer the from the hidden layer the error is propagated to the input and we will change the weights of this so uh, like this uh, I, I, we will change the weights of this and then for the input we will uh, we will calculate the same thing by um, by the uh, by the changed weights so uh, we will do this again and again until we, we will uh, until we get the weights such that our output is equal to our expected expected value or near to our expected value so this is back back propagation so what is this? we will give the input we will multiply it with the weight and then add the bias and we will apply the activation function then we will give this the output at the hidden layer to the input as uh, output layer then uh, from this in from, from here the input into weight and then adding the bias and then applying the activation function they will, will get the output this output is subtracted from the target or expected value then we will get the error this error we will prop propagate back to the hidden layer and change the weights over here then we will propagate uh, error from here to the input layer and we will change the weights over here so it keep on changing the weights and we will get at a particular particular stage we will get the weights such that it, uh, the error is minimum or zero and uh, we are expected value or target value is equal to our output so then we will stop it this is called back propagation
ഓക്കെ താങ്ക് യു